Good morning, class. So, I am your teacher for today. I am Miss Rhea. And then, please turn up for our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, um, I'm going to check your attendance first. Say present if your name is called. Okay? Rowena? Present. Okay. Anna? Present. Andrew? Ma'am. Okay. I think all the students here are all present. Before we proceed to our topic for today, what was our yesterday's topic? Okay, Sophia, what is it? It's all about... Mother, mom. Okay, mother. And yes, Ruena, what is mother? Mother is anything that occupies space and has mass. Oh, very good. Now, um... Andrea, what is or what are the states of matter? Liquid, solid, gas. Okay, very good. I think all of you got and understand the yesterday's topic. Now, we have our topic here, which is photosynthesis. So, before we proceed this, okay, now, um, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Is it okay? Okay, mom. Okay, now, have you eaten your breakfast? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, who prepares your breakfast or your food? Sometimes my mother or my sister. Okay. Now, um, this is my last question to you. I'm gonna call somebody to answer this, okay? Okay, now... How do you feel after you eat your food, Miss Rena? I have my energy to do my ask, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Now, before we proceed to our main topic, I have here um, a song to sing. Let's turn and sing. If you want to know, how a plant grows, it takes water and sunlight and makes cellulose. Every plant can do this fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. Unlike me and you, plants need CO2, and they make oxygen to stop us turning blue. Every plant can do this. Fundamental process, and, and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. A plant of any size can do it if it tries, but we're not green, so we can't photosynthesize. Every plant can do this. Fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. Every plant can do this. Fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. Every plant can do this. Fundamental process, and, and we can call it photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Okay, very good. Now let's sit down and. Okay, so today's discussion, I want you to participate, and Teacher Rhea will give you. A reward for the participation. So you must um, participate in our discussion for today to have that reward. So our topic for today is photosynthesis. Now, can you please, um, Rowena, read the definition of photosynthesis? 
Photosynthesis is the process used by plants to make their own food. Okay, very good. Now, photosynthesis is the process which plants can make their own food to grow and to develop. Now, the photosynthesis in Greek word is, has a meaning. So, photo means light. Means light. And synthesis is putting together. Putting together. So, this means that the plant can have their own food by the ingredients that the plants need and with the presence of the, the light energy that comes from the sunlight. Now, in photosynthesis, there are various elements that can be found. And what are they? Miss Sophia, what are the various elements that we can find? Sunlight, water, carbon dioxide. Okay, very good. These are the uh, various elements that we can found in photosynthesis to make their to make the plants their own food. We need, they need sunlight, water, and the carbon dioxide. Oh, I see the hands of Miss Andrea who is raising her hand. Oh, what is your question? How can a plant or a tree can eat when they don't have mouth? Okay, good question. Now, since that you have already know that plants and humans are very different when in terms of taking their foods, because humans can, we humans, we can take our food through our mouth, but plants, um, the way they eat, their food is different to us. So I will just elaborate and explain the way or the process of the photosynthesis. So as you can see, there is, what is it? A tree. Okay, it is a tree and there is a sunlight. That is the light energy here. The light energy that comes from that comes from the sunlight and we have the water and the nutrients that comes from the soil and then the last is the carbon dioxide that comes from the air so <clears throat> water and nutrients can go up straight to the stem branches and reaching into the leaves how does the water and nutrients can do that? Because there is a tube here that can be found, which is called a xylem. Okay, class, what is the tube called? Xylem. Okay, in this xylem, through this xylem, the water and nutrients can go up straight to the parts of the plants, the stem, the branch, reaching into the leaves. Now, the xylem is um, similar to our blood vessels. Why? Because through our blood vessels, um, our nutrients and the water can go up straight and um, distribute all into our all parts so just like the xylem so it's similar to xylem because xylem through xylem water and nutrients can run off or transported into the leaves now let's focus on the leaves I'm gonna draw here leaves. Here are leaves. Okay, so 
Did you know that leaves has full of tiny pores? Now, in our parts of the body, where we can find our pores in in the skin. Okay, very good. Because of that, I will give you a reward. Okay. Now, in the plant, the pores can be found on the leaves. Now, the pores is called stomata. Stomata. Wherein it absorbs the carbon dioxide. Now that the water and the nutrients are take place in this stomata and the carbon dioxide are here also in the stomata. Now what is the lock in these ingredients? The sunlight. No wrong. It's, it's correct, but the term is not. The term is light energy or light so um since that the light energy are not here in the stomata now we have called the chlorophyll chlorophyll is okay um andrea what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is a green substance that all plants have okay very good now that the chlorophyll is a green pigment that we can found in the plants and also the chlorophyll serves as a um it traps the light energy to have in order to have that ingredients here and because of the chlorophyll the light energy are here so the ingredients are mixed together or put together here in stomata. Now it can have a, the plants can make their own food because the ingredients is complete. And that is the process of how the plants can make their own food. It is because the plants needs sunlight water carbon dioxide okay very good through the help of the water nutrients and the carbon dioxide with the presence of light energy the plants can now produce and can have their own food which is the glucose or the sugar and then the stomata now are ready to produce the oxygen that the humans and the animals needed for them to take breath. So what is the importance of the, um, the photosynthesis in our surroundings or in our cells? Because, because of the photosynthesis, we can have the oxygen that we needed to in order to have our life because oxygen is very important for us and plants can produce oxygen with the help of photosynthesis they provide us with the oxygen that we needed in order to breathe now we in return exhale the carbon dioxide needed by plants plants are also crucial to human life because we rely on them as a source of food for ourselves and for the animals that we eat. Okay, so photosynthesis is very important for us in order to survive in this planet. So the earth is needed oxygen that um, in order to survive. With the help of the plants and the process of it, the photosynthesis, the plants can produce more, uh, more oxygen that we need. So, uh, the, ox the oxygen can convert the um, dirty air into pure oxygen. So, the solution here is that we need to um, um, plant more trees in order to have a fresh air and a pure air that comes from 
our plants. As what I have said, that the photosynthesis can have the sugar or the glucose and, they, and the plants can now produce the oxygen. Now the extra glucose will stored here in the roots or the other parts of the plants and by um, the next day the extra glucose or in making the oxygen okay miss sophia you are raising your hand what is your question Mom, can I even get in on a sugar? Can I literal generation a sugar in a pump put on set on coffee? It's okay to put um, sugar on the plants in order to have more supply of glucose or sugar in the plants. But remember, too much is not good. Photosynthesis is an example of chemical reaction because it is a process which carbon dioxide and water are combined to form glucose and oxygen. Now, it is an endothermic reaction because it requires solar energy. Do you understand the process of photosynthesis class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Now, before we um, finish or done to our topic for today, um, we are going to do some activities that will um, test your um, understanding of our topic for today. So, I am here the illustration that you as a student will identify the parts or the process of making a photosynthesis or the process of photosynthesis you will have to identify where is um, the water the nutrients the sun the light energy and the carbon dioxide located and also the silent and after that you will discuss this and after that I will in every group I will choose one person I will choose one person to um, to discuss here in front so that I will know that you have understood. So, in order to, to have the understanding of this um, topic, you must have the um, brainstorming in your group so that um, I, because you cannot um, decide on who will be going to discuss in front because I am um, the teacher will choose one of the one of you which represents in front discussing on how the process of photos, photosynthesis is. Okay, so very well said to our um, represents of every group. So I conclude that all of you. Um, um, understand my topic for today because you already discussed it to yourself and now the group activities is the part one of our assessment or the evaluation now we have the B um, activity which is how to take our quiz for today before that I will gonna Remove our visual aid to so that you can cheat on our quiz. So all the visual aid are now removed. So we will begin our short quiz for today in order for me to know that you have um, understood our topic for today or if you are listening to my discussion. So write your name on your paper. Okay. So now 
um, prepare your one-fourth sheet of paper and write your name on it. Okay. Are you done um, writing your name? Okay. Now, let's proceed. Number one and number two. In Greek word, the photo sentences is separated. Now, what is the meaning of these two words? One and two. Okay, I repeat. In Greek words, there are a, the photosynthesis is separated. So, photosynthesis means that photo means and synthesis means. Okay. In number three, four, and five, what are the three? What are the three ingredients of the plant to make a photosynthesis or to have their own food? Okay. Now, in number six is what is the name of the tube that is found? in stem okay number seven what is a green pigment that is found on the plants okay number eight and nine or ten okay number eight where where are we number eight so, number eight is, what is the pores called? What is the pores called? Okay. And then, number nine to ten is, in two points, explain the process of how photosynthesis is made. Or, how does the plant make their own food in two points i will count on one to five to pass your paper in front one two three four five okay now i guess all of you are understand my topic because we have our activity that is in a activity is the group um, group activity and then the last is the quiz or the short quiz that we have and for and because we have done the activity for today I will be giving you an assignment that um, relates in photosynthesis now you have to um, you have to identify the plants with the sunlight with the sunlight and plants without the presence or the absence of the sunlight in order for you to distinguish the differences of the plant that grows um, with the presence of of sunlight and and the other plant which is the absence of the sunlight a short and a long band paper you will um, conduct the similarities or the differences between the plants so i think this is all for today and goodbye and see you tomorrow and don't forget your assignment to be passed on tomorrow